word is when somebody like you's in the building. Place on fire, I'm so lit. You're just it. You're all I want. Well, hello, it's Cheryl. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to review another zinc photo printer, Lenny, right here. I think that's what it's called. So they sent me this one to review. It's not sponsored, meaning that I can say whatever I want to say. Yeah, I told them that already. So I don't know. I have never tried this personally. So I'm going to test it out and I'll give you my honest thoughts on this product. I've already unboxed it by myself because I had to charge it beforehand. I'm not making that mistake again. Let's pretend like I haven't and let's unbox this together. Basically, you open it. There's the... The printer, it's about the size of Canon IV. <laughs> Sorry, cat hair. <laughs> it's cute, I would say. I like how white it is. It just looks super chic. So this is what it looks like. Lenny. Inside the box, we have the charger and the manual. I don't think I need this. And also they're very generous. They give you 50 zinc paper, 10 in each pack. Pretty generous because Canon Ivy only gave one. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Lenny. This is Ivy 2. This is Lenny. It's very similar in size, I would say. I feel like it's about the same. Lenny also uses the USB-C charging port. Compared to IV1 though, IV1 is smaller. Um, IV1 feels smaller. IV1 feels a tiny bit thinner. So yeah, but they're all about the same size. Okay, let's turn it on. We have the power button on the side here. Let's turn it on. Okay, it's on. Why is it blinking yellow? I just charged it. Let's see, how do I open this? Okay, so just like Canon IV, you just like slice it down. And you can open. Oh, I guess. Oh, cool. So I guess you can't take the whole thing off. You just open it like this. <laughs> okay. White glossy side up like this. Done. Push it back. I think we can print now. Whoa. Do we need an app for this? Like Canon? Okay, I still need this manual after all. Connect Lenny photo app. Yes, of course you need an app because how else are you gonna print? Okay guys, sorry, I wasn't prepared. There's a QR code here you can scan and it just directs you to the Lenny app. All right, I'm gonna download real quick. Okay, let's wait for a little bit. How are you guys doing? I just found out before I started filming that I lost my memory card. One of them. Kill me, kill me. But it might be in Florida. I'm gonna have my mom check in my room because I went back to Florida for the holidays and I know I had it there because I was checking. Anyways, okay, it's done. Okay, see? Hmm? Is it starting? Okay, so in light memories, in light memories, okay. Next. Damn it. You have to. I just do it with Apple. Please, conf please confirm that you've read. Okay. Hmm? Why is it not working? Oh, confirm here. Down here. You have to check first before you can click this. Which match your location? Oh, okay. Region. United States. Confirm. And then press Apple again. Here we go. Hide my email. Okay. All right, we should be good. Um, notifications, allow. User experience improvement. No, 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 I don't wanna do that. At printer, all right, here we go. At printer. Oh, they have this pink one, that's cute. And they have that bigger one for instant photo. I want to try that out. The Ember M100 slash 200. Like, I guess there's two different generations. Okay, so this one that I have is called the Pearl K100. Portable photo printer. Hmm, I didn't even know that. All right, turn on. Is it 
is it on? Yeah, it's on already. Please make sure your phone's Bluetooth is turned on. Yeah, it's on. Press and hold the power button until printer is turned on. I did that already. Okay. Connect printer. Connect printer. Pour with the printer. Okay, this one, right? Okay. Wait. Setting Bluetooth. It's already connected. Allow. Okay, I'm gonna stop recording now because it gets personal. When I filmed Canon IV2, I printed some photos already. So I'm gonna print out some of the same things. That way we have photos to compare. From Canon IV and IV1, I already have this photo. I'm gonna print out the same thing like this. So you can, you can edit the photo here, but this is already edited. Print. The blue sheet is gonna come out first. Is it printing? All right, preparing photo. Uh, oh, it's printing. I feel like I heard something. Hello? Oh, it's printing. Let's see how long it takes. Okay, this blue paper needs to go. Okay. Now, for real this time. It's not very loud, so it's good. But I'm falling asleep. <laughs> I'm just tired. I'll put the real life printing time right here like I always do. Oh my god, I'm nervy. I'm actually excited to see because so far Canon Ivy is my favorite. So let's see. Ah! So let's see how this one does. Ooh, not bad, not bad. I'm impressed actually. Because honestly, I wasn't expecting much. I've tried so many already and Canon IV Mini is my favorite, um, but I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. Printing complete. I need my ring light. Ugh. I honestly feel like Canon IV Mini is the best. It's the most accurate in color. This one is not bad at all. It's better than Canon IV 2. Look at that. Not bad, Lenny. This is Lenny, Canon IV Mini 1. Canon IV Mini 2. Okay, Linny is doing pretty well. Next, I'm going to print some more off camera. So we don't waste time here. I know you're probably bored watching me print. I forgot to mention, Linny retails for $97.99 on Amazon. And it has three different colors, white, pink, and green. On their website, it shows like a little bit more than 100, but it's on sale for the same price that's sold on Amazon. So yeah, not bad. I think Canon IV is about that price too. I think the bigger one, the one I want to test out, I think that's equivalent to the Kodak that I posted before because it's a bigger printer and it prints out bigger photos. Okay, so I'll see you guys soon. I just realized the animation it's kind of cute but it's not accurate as to this one but that's cute <laughs> pretty impressed to be honest i wasn't expecting much i printed out the same photos as i printed last time to compare with canon iv mini one and two so the first one is going to be lenny canon iv one canon iv two i'll say my favorite for this one is canon iv one and then it's Lenny. Canon IV2 is the last because I don't like that yellow effect, the vintage look. Okay, let's see close up. I feel like this is warmer. This is a cooler tone. So if you like cooler tones, you can go for Lenny. If you like warmer tones, go for Canon IV1. Next, we have night photo. I think it's important to include this one just to see the quality. For this one, I think that surprisingly for the yellow backpack, Lenny has the most accuracy compared to the photo on my phone. Um, but overall, it's pretty good. It's very close to Canon IV-1. I would say Canon IV-1 has more of the red tone and this has more of the yellow tone. Look at the building. Okay, next we have Kiki right here. This is my baby boy. Canon IV-1 looks very clear on this one. Like his fur, his whisker holes. I think Lenny gives it more of a Polaroid look. It's more white, but overall the quality is great. I think for this photo specifically, 
all three of them look good. Next, we have this flower photos of me. For this photo, I actually had to take my phone out and to see because for this photo, Canon IV1 is more accurate, right? For this photo, I think all three of them look very good. I actually prefer Linny because it makes my skin tone a little bit lighter and I think it looks nicer on this picture. For this photo specifically, there's not that big of a difference either, unlike these. Like, these are so different. Next, we have me and one of my best friends. Interestingly, I think Linny sometimes makes the photo more white. I actually like this one more, even though this is more accurate. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. For this photo, I think all three of them have a different tone. Like this is more like washed out. So like a Polaroid and this one is accurate. This one gives it a vintage vibe, which is very nice as well. We have me and Pixie. This is my baby girl. For this one, there is a difference. IV2, I don't like it that much. It's too yellow. You can tell by Pixie's hair, this white part. It's not very white. Lenny makes pixie's white part very white which is good canon iv1 is still the most accurate but i i do like this look as well all right this photo i took very proud little island in new york city i wanted to include this picture because in this picture you can really see the details of this flower it turned out very nicely actually these three are all different this is more accurate this one in the original photo the grass is not like this color but overall it's okay and you can see the details as well which is very nice it really depends on your preference that's all the comparison photos i also print out my nephew i took this photo very proud i'm a proud aunt he's so cute and this photo turned out great. This is her baby. This is her baby. The color looks very nice. And this is me in front of some Christmas decoration in Florida. And this is a night picture, but it also has bright lights in the back. So I wanted to test it out and it also turned out very nicely. I'm satisfied with these photos. Okay, so my conclusion is that I think Lenny it's a lot better than I imagined. I have tried out some printers that are just like, oh. I honestly didn't expect much when they reached out and wanted to send me one because first of all, I've never heard of Linny. But yeah, it's actually very nice. Like I said earlier, it does give you a Polaroid look, which I like. It still has that clarity, so it's not completely washed out like the real Polaroid. It's like when you're editing the photo and you turn the white higher. So the photo looks pretty clean. It just really depends on what you're looking for at this point. If you want like super, super accurate, I would say go for Canon IV1. But if you do like that clarity plus a bit of the Polaroid look, white but not completely washed out, then go for Lenny. Um, if you want that yellowish vintage look, go for Canon IV. Too. So yeah, that's my conclusion. I'm very happy, very satisfied actually. Um, yeah, I was like ready to roast this printer to be honest, but there's nothing bad for me to say about this printer. These three printers I mentioned, they all share the same zinc paper. I'll link everything down below, so be sure to check it out if you're interested. If there's any other ones you want me to review, let me know in the comments. I hope this video helped you decide which one you want to get. Thanks for watching. Bye! My back hurts. Oh, I need a massage. I need to go though. I need to go have dinner.